you know, breast augmentation. Very popular, and sometimes can be covered by MSI for certain conditions. The vast majority are not. And despite things, yes, you can breastfeed afterwards. Yes, you can have mammograms. And facelift operation has its own anatomy and techniques, and, and so is breast. I mean, breast used to be, oh, it's just simple operation. You just go there, make a space, and stuff an implant in there. You know, it's far from it. We spend a lot of time, we do them quickly, actually, don't so often, but there's a lot of things you, you need to measure. You need to assess the skin envelope. Is it tight? Is it loose? Where the position of the nipple in terms of sagging? You have to assess the width of the breast, the height of the breast, the diameter of the nipple. I mean, there's a lot of the distance between the breast, the distance between the nipple and the fold. And then you have to assess asymmetries, the shape of the rib and all that. I mean, this is done very quickly when you do it so often. And you achieve all of that. Then you look at, okay, well, we have these dimensional measurements. So what do we do? We take all these measurements and we give you the choice. We say, on you, the style of implant I like, which is, there's lots of reasons. We go through the rationale, saline versus silicone smooth. We go away from this marketing gummy bear and all these things you see in it, because that's really, doesn't make any difference. And we talk about where you're going to place the implant and everything. There's a lot of things come into it. Because I want a result that lasts as long as possible. Nothing lasts forever. In an implant, you're going to have it done at least once, once in your lifetime, after the second, uh, at least twice in your lifetime, if you live long enough. And some people have it more, some people have it like that. It doesn't expire, nothing less than But you have a range that you look at your goals and say, you know, well, I think by your measurements, say between 300, 350, which gives you 300, 325, 350 with the silicone. So this, I think, the implant is suitable for you. You spend a lot of time with Betty. And you try them as you can take them home and try them and all these things. I said, well, you know what, I really like 375. Fine, we'll go with that. And most of the time, whatever size you do, we wind up putting it. I take, have some editorial control. We do put temporary sizes in the operation, temporary implants, because everyone's slightly different, just to make sure they still work right. And then we take them out and we put the real implants in there. And the goal is to give you something that fits you. So the idea behind it, look at it very, very simplistically. An implant is a circle. And the different shapes and projections and angles and all that. But anyway, basically a circle. This circle has to physically fit between your breastbone and your armpit. You only have so much width to your chest. If I put too small, it's going to look weird. If you put too big, uh, it's just going to look ridiculous. That's size. Some people like that. That's fine. That's their choice. But uh, you can't take a tiny frame and put like a dolly part, you know, it just looks weird. And you're going to have problems with it. It's not going to work. I mean, you can have problems even if you do everything right. But if you ignore the dimensions, it's going to look really bizarre. And, uh, and you have the size. And just because you're famous, or you've gone to a famous plastic surgeon, you're still a human being with certain things we all heal. And these are famous celebrities. In my mind, all of these look awful. But they're so proud of it. They're posing to them, they're taking the photo shoots with them, and that's the look they like. We don't like these things. I, I think we you need to be not in your face, you need to be full. They all cost the same, 125, 800, which is the range. You can have custom made ones. But they all cost the same, so you're not saving any money by going skimping something small. You need to fill something that fits you, but if you respect your own dimensions, you're going to have a much natural result. That probably will last you a long time, and less complications with it.